Hi, YouTube internet. Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's your buddy, King of the Golden State. Just here because I wanted a beer. And, uh, God, just caught, watched a couple episodes of, uh, of shows over the last uh, day and a half or so. So, saw uh, Outcast, which was on, which came on uh, YouTube, you know, and that was on. Uh, the first episode's on YouTube right now. The actual show comes out June 3rd. So June 3rd, we got uh, the show coming on Cinemax, and I just watched it. Um, it's really good. Um, I really I really dig it, and I read the comic book, and for somebody who's never read the comic book, um, this will probably scare a little bejesus out of you. And I think that's kind of cool. Um... Uh, you know, um, it's basically a short synopsis. It's about, you know, a um, guy lives alone. You know, uh, he uh, had issues in the past which caused him to live alone, which having to do demon possession, you know, and demonic possession, that whole deal. And uh, he is outcasted on his own. People don't want to bother with him because, you know, uh, he's been known for beating his uh, wife and, you know, and, and, and such. And... He is on his own, but he's getting help from, uh, you know, he's getting, a, he's, he's been, he's not getting help, but he's been brought into, you know, by a, a pastor to exercise, um, demons, especially one in one episode, you know, from a kid. And it's a pretty, it's, I mean, from what I've seen so far, it's really good. I, you know, and, um, it's based, I'm basing this all on just one episode. So, um, check it out. It's still available on YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description. And, you know, if you've read the comic book, you have an idea of what's coming, almost a la Walking Dead. By the way, same guy who created The Walking Dead, created Outcast. So, yeah. Um, if you never even read the comic book, it might be even scarier watching it without having to read the comic book. That's the thing I was thinking about when I watched it. And, uh, yeah. Um, so I saw that over the weekend. Also watched, uh, Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, Fear the Walking Dead. Um, the second season, it's already got its mid-season finale. So the mid-season finale is good. Um, the mid-season finale still needs, you know, like the show needs still needs work. But um, if you're following the show, um, you already know that they're they're on some sort of like plantation or farm or whatever Mexican plantation or farm, and they're shot off away from the from the zombies. But what's behind the walls? Is a, is almost a is almost a biggest pro, big problem as far as the uh, zombie apocalypse. So I mean, you got people. I mean, I'm sure if you've watched the show, you got people like Chris, who's kind of gone the way of like Anakin Skywalker turning to Darth Vader. That boy's got some serious issues, you know. And you got uh, Nick, who's probably one of the strongest characters on the show, but his mother, um, Madison, she is always trying to be the mother and always look, looking after him, which is cool. But I mean, come on, the guy's a grown he's the kid the kid's a grown ass man even though he's a drug addict. Um let me see, you got you got um <laughs> you got Daniel Salazar, played by Ruben Blades. Ruben Blades are a great actor. I mean if if you're if you're not familiar with Ruben Blades, you know, doing other films, like hell, I'll even throw an easy one out there for people who love sci fi. Um he had a small part in Predator too. You know, Danny Boy. If you if you guys are familiar with that. That's Ruben Blades. Him as Danny Salazar, he is tripping balls right now. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but he is tripping major. And, I mean, at first, first season kind of, I mean, it was like as limited as the first season as the original Walking Dead. But we didn't really care for these characters. And plus, if you're a reader of the comic for Walking Dead, you have an idea of what's going to happen next. The cool thing about this is that you have no idea what's going to happen next now, because this is not, ba I mean, this is based off, the idea is based off the comic book, but the, but these characters, you know, aren't, so it makes it a big deal now, because you, now you're kind of like wondering, all right, well, who's really the major character, you know, it's like Strand, the major character, you know, you know, or is it going to be Nick, or maybe Travis? I'm starting to lean towards Travis not being a main character. At first season, I thought he was, but now I'm starting to think he's not. But it's on a mid-season break. Um, if you can, 
to see if you can catch up. It's it's getting better. It's getting better. Um, what else? Uh, <laughs> Game of Thrones. Um, if you're a, a Game of Thrones watcher, um, then you already have an idea what's going on with this with the last you know last Sunday's episode. Um, I don't want to spoil it too much, but it was a really good episode. Um, I know some people don't watch Game of Thrones, and that's okay. You should. Um, like, especially this season. This season, I mean, just a quick recap. Things on this season are getting a lot better. So you got, you know, Jon Snow's deal. You got the Sansa thing going on. Um, you got the uh, High Sparrow action going on. And of course, you got the um, uh, the old the whole situation with Bran, and that I don't want I don't want to spoil it for people who haven't seen it. So all I can say is go see it, and whenever you go rent something or if you ever go somewhere, be sure to hold the door. That's all I got. But um, yeah, I would check it out um, if you haven't seen it already. Um, it's, like I said, last Sunday's episode was amazing. <laughs> Um, sad too, bittersweet. But yeah, that's all I got right now on shows. I mean, I got a whole bunch of things on my DVR on this freaking machine here. But um, yeah, I got like Arrow and uh, God, I still got a couple episodes of Arrow. I don't hate Arrow, but I'm still hanging in there with it. I think it could get better. Um, I'm looking forward to Flash tomorrow. Whew. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. But anyway, that's about it, guys. Um, Tell me uh, what you guys think about the shows you've seen. Like I said, like I said, Outcast came out over on YouTube over the weekend. Um, Fear of the Walking Dead's getting better, and of course, Game of Thrones is always good. But I mean, if there's something I've overlooked, please let me know. You know, leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section below. If you like this video, hit like. You know, it only takes you a few seconds. To hit like. Um, you know, also uh, subscribe to me you know, if you want to see more. Uh, content you know why the hell not i mean you know today's my day off from work so i mean i got plenty of time to throw stuff down anyway anyway i gotta work on some more videos too and uh, i will talk to you guys later and you guys have a good week peace